Hey guys, it's me Narelle here, and welcome back to a new video. If you hear something in the background, it's my fan. It's freaking hot in my room right now, so I'm like, either I can burn while doing this audio, or I can feel good while doing this audio. So, anyways, um, this video is my half of an art trade that I did with my best friend, um, Ms. Venomous Cupcake, also known as Brie R Arts on Instagram. Um, of, of course, I will link everything that she is in my description box below. If I do anything with anybody, I make sure to flood it with their links because all the people in which I love and cherish, they are all worthy to check out and her, including her art, is just stunning and everything about her is just wonderful and I really believe that you guys will love her as much as I do if you check out her links down below. So, for our trade um we actually tossed and turned um a lot of ideas of what we wanted to do because me and her do a lot of art trades and our themes are actually quite cool but for this one since we haven't done one for so long we were like um what do you want to do <laughs> and she actually suggested how about canon and non-canon ships and i'm like that works because if you guys don't know me and her have like a love of putting our characters in different scenarios and just imagining how well they would get along with each other and you know what the relationships could possibly be with our characters whether it's our own um ideas or if it's our ideas together and i feel like this theme really represents us actually so um i was very excited to do it so the ship she wanted me to do was a non-canon ship and it's of her oc sarah with claude from black butler and let me just say he is a handsome spider babe who had a lot of needs that i tried to uh, i tried to please for him and hopefully all those needs were met in this drawing because i was struggling for reals why drawing <laughs> <laughs> but yes and i will not spoil who i asked her to draw for me so you will have to check that out with her links down below so yeet so getting into my side of the art trade um like always i actually do a lot of thumbnails because i always am that person that draws my idea that first comes to my mind i finish it and then a day later i'm like i don't like this why didn't i change that about x y and z so i'm like let me do thumbnails to make sure what i want to draw is actually what i want to draw and i find out really helpful so if you guys second guess your ideas thumbnail them out just go crazy with the thumbnails so yes so the idea i had was my first initial idea but i didn't want to do it in the position that i had it so i'm like how can i uniquely arrange these two to make it look pretty so um brie r arts actually told me that her and her friend are doing a role play and apparently um spiders like poppy flowers so um i wanted in, i wanted to include the poppy flower which is the flower in front of sarah's face it just was like a red big old red mass i'm so sorry but that's what that is and I wanted to surround her and him with the poppy flower petals because, I don't know, I found that really cute. So I tried, and I wanted to include that, and I wanted to make them both, um... Okay, what's the word? What's the word? I wanted to make them both, um, not invested. I don't know what the word is, but I wanted them both to be centered around that flower. So, yes. <laughs> so, yeet. So, um, with Claude, I made sure to put his little spiders on his hands. And the spiders are holding the flower in place with their webs, which you will see a lot more clearly when I finish the coloring. Um, but all in all, I really like how my concept came together. I added a freaking background because I'm the queen of just doing color blocks because black grounds black grounds and I say black grounds <laughs> backgrounds scare me 
like legit they're scary and i tried to go off reference pictures of like the flower gardens and black butler and i'm like you know what i know what a bush looks like i'm just gonna draw a bush out of sky and we're done <laughs> so yes and yeah so as for the supplies which i try to talk about but i always fail to mention um this was um, drawn on some car stock. I don't know the brand of this car stock because Walmart ran out of my Georgia Pacific car stock and I was mad so I had to go with a brand that costed a lot more than Georgia Pacific which I'm like what? <laughs> that's ridiculous. But that's what this is. I drew it with a normal mechanical pencil inked it with a micron and a sharpie fine point pen I colored it with Cobit marker and a hoo hoo marker and with Claude knowing me i forgot something i forgot that most of my black markers are dead besides the ones i used on sarah but since i didn't want them two to blend together i decided i'm just gonna bite the bullet and just use watercolor which you're seeing me do now on claude's um tux um and if you guys don't know watercolor or anything water based on cardstock is just death waiting to happen so by the grace of god everything worked out i made sure to wait for the color to dry before adding on any more layers because i knew if i did that the paper will start ripping so i believe that's a nice thing to remember um if you guys can afford actual watercolor paper and if you just have cardstock wait for the layers to, to dry so your paper can you know soak it up and then you add more so you have a higher chance of the paper working for you not against you so yeah and then i use um some soccer and jelly roll for the highlights and i think that's pretty much it for all the supplies i use pretty much the same supplies for all of my drawings so there's really nothing new and yeah so now it's my time to gush all over brie R arts because whenever i do art trades i always do that um with the people that are do them with so it's nothing new so if you guys don't know brie R arts used to go Go by the name Miss Venomous Cupcake. Um, me and her actually met a while ago. I think it was back in 2012. 212, I believe. 212 or 214. It's between them years. Between them years um, that we met. And originally, I was a fangirl of her like no other. So um, I think I actually gave her my first fan art I did for her, which is her on like a unicycle. Because I remember her saying she liked circus. She liked the idea of a circus and circus theme theme stuff so I decided to do that for her and posted it as a video and she was like oh my gosh and I'm like ah she talked to me and then um we just eventually continued talking and we got closer actually through doing art trades so that's why I take doing art trades with her with a personal level because I love doing them with her and art trades was the one thing that got us closer with each other and I love it and and just with, with just with the art trades we were able to connect with each other and learn more about one another and as soon as we got on Skype it was a wrap we actually talked for hours and hours and hours and I just love her concepts of her characters and just hearing her talk about her characters non-stop it's just so mesmerizing because she really goes all out with who her characters are and why they are who they are and it's just mesmerizing to hear her talk about them and i wish all of you guys could hear her talk about her characters because it's just oh my gosh i can't even so she inspires me in more ways than one and she honestly is a big supporter of my art she helped me a lot of times understand a lot of the stuff i didn't understand and she really has been a art mother to me so that's how she got the nickname mama cupcake because she is a mother of art to me and she she is just so awesome and so sweet so please go check her out she's amazing and i just love her a lot <laughs> so my video is actually wrapping up um i actually am going to try to add a scanned version of this drawing because uh, since i did it with watercolor the lighting ain't going to be good so you know i gotta take um, safety measures here but i hope you guys like this video give it a like and Bria Arts, thank you again for doing this art trade with me, and I hope we can do many more. <laughs> so anyways, thanks guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.